Hey there, and welcome back to the Virtual Cafe for another coffee combo about business finances. I'm your host, Kerry Zarb, and I am joined by Kim White. We invite you to join us at our table with your favourite brew. Let's pull up our chairs and get into today's episode. Come on, let's go. It's coffee time. Let's get digital, digital. I want to get digital. Let's get into digital. Hi, Kim. Hey, Kim. <laughs> I was singing away over here. I really do actually want to get digital in this conversation, Kim. So are you with me? Are you, are you up for a digital ride? I am so with you, Carrie. Oh, good stuff. So digital in the finance space, it speaks for itself, doesn't it, Kim? You, you get me? You get where I'm coming from? I do, Carrie, but I want to know more. Okay, more about being digital in finances. Let me take away my singingness and get serious for a second. That's pretty hard. So Kim, I think digital for our finances can simplify our lives when we get digital. Because think of it like this. Prime example, here's a prime example. Have you ever put a receipt like from the grocery store or something on the dash of your car oh sorry wait dash oh god what's it called kim that's right that's right carrie it's a dash it is a dash and i'm thinking were you like looking over my shoulder for this weekend is that what you're saying <laughs> no but i have an ever forever fading sticker on the window of my car at the moment i think it's been there since 2019 and it is black this sticker has been there for, well, now four years, and it's now turned black. Oh, my. Our son, anyone's son, we've all got the same son. <laughs> Wonder, speaking like you guys have a different son to us. It just eats things on the car dash or on the windscreen. It's just, it's just not a friendly space, Kim. So this is why I love the digital world. And, yeah, you can have paper, you can come home you can take it off the dash you can bring it inside and you can put it somewhere but paper piles can be annoying and you know they they can be messy they can be like filing cabinets that's another thing filing cabinets can be really organized a lot of people do have little file folders that they use but to me oh give me digital give me digital anything so, Carrie, are you saying that I can go from a shoebox full of receipts to a digital shoebox? Yeah, kind of thing. If you if you want to picture the folder on your computer as the shoebox, that essentially is a digital shoebox. I like that, Kim. Ah. I think I'm going to create a folder right now, Carrie, and I'm going to just call it shoebox. <laughs> well, you can. That's how easy it is. You don't have to be fancy about it. And you don't have to bury it away. Oh, my God. Some of the things that I used to do when I was new to digital spaces, Kim, my filing system on my computer was like layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. And have you ever named something, like a a file name, and then you don't remember what you called it, but you know it's in there somewhere? So then you're typing in all these search words trying to find it? That's hard too. So, Kerry, you're talking about the reasons kind of why I push back against digital. Do you have a solution for making sure we can find what we need? Do you have a solution for making sure we don't lose what we need? Because that, I think, is everybody's fear because we won't be able to find it when we need it. Can I share my secret, Kim? Please, Carrie. I have a folder in my main directory called tax documents. I'm not going to forget the word tax. Like, as much as I don't like the word, it's a mm, kind of word, but I'm not going to forget that. So there's no chance of mishap. Where did I put that receipt? Or where did I put that scanned copy of that invoice or this document that came over on email because they're coming from all the places Kim we've got paper versions we've got digital coming into our inbox and have you ever sat down on a weekend to do something on your business finances and you've had to go looking through your email account 
No, please don't do that to yourself. So when it comes in, leave it in your inbox until you're ready to file it. And then you just go through it once a week, once a month. Or what you can actually do, I don't do this, but you could, if this is your preference, is make a tax folder on your inbox yeah. to put those emails in. Ooh, I think that's a pretty smart idea, Carrie. That's not bad either, and actually now I'm starting to question myself as to why I've never done that. Kim, do you need another coffee? I do, Carrie. Okay, why don't we just take a quick break, rest our voices, grab that other cup, and we'll be right back. See you in a minute. Do you find your finances confusing or overwhelming? Well, guess what? You're not alone. I'm Kerry Zab, and I am your financial designer. It's time to take away those sleepless nights, all the stress and pressure we feel from those flippin' digits. Finances can be hard. This is why your seat at my virtual cafe is reserved in the Biz Beans Club. Our gatherings are held on the third Monday of each month at 6pm Central Time and I'd love you to join us to ask questions, gain access to resources so that you can get in control of your business finances. This is where coffee meets money. Are you ready? What are you waiting for? It's time for you to be in the driver's seat of your finances. All you need to do is click the link in the show notes of this episode to join us in the Biz Beans Club. Oh, Kim, that feels better. What do you reckon? Oh my goodness, Carrie, I can't wait to enjoy this cup of coffee with you. Me too. So what were we talking about, Carrie? Oh, I'm not sure. Hang on. (laughs) Oh, there it is. So you can have, so in my head, I'm visual, Carrie, don't forget I'm visual. In my head, I'm thinking I could literally have a shoebox folder on my, like, desktop. I could have a shoebox folder in my emails, and all of my tax things could go to one of those two places. You could. You could do that, Kim, and that would be quick and easy and a good way to do it because you've only got two places to look. The the tax, sorry, shoebox folder on your computer and the shoebox folder in your email. Now, when it comes to filing our emails, I don't know about you, Kim, but have you ever made such a convoluted directory of filing system to get everything out of your inbox? Oh, man, that can take time and that can take a lot of effort. So you just want to be careful on how many email folders you're creating that things can get buried that way. So true story, Carrie bio cabinet or email if it has tons of things and tons of choices i am less likely to get it where it goes i'm i'm just telling you like the truth about my i i feel like i am always in a hurry kind of person like not for bad reasons but just i'm always in a hurry to get to the next thing knowing that about myself i have to make it easy to put somewhere so if i'm If it's on my desktop and it's in my email, that means I don't have to think about it. It just goes in there. And I know a lot of people don't want to touch things twice, but for me, I think having a set time to go through those things, even physically in a shoebox, having a set time to go through them is easier for me than it is to be that perfect, that perfect person, Carrie. I'm just not. I'm doing it instantly. Absolutely, Kim. And, you know, what is the purpose of being perfect, in my opinion? Yes, it it sounds nice and it probably looks pretty and it's not very realistic. It rarely happens. We might be on track with being perfect for a day or five minutes, a week, if we're lucky. It's hard. Or in my head. Oh, yeah, in in a different (laughs) universe completely. Yes, that can happen. But I think we need to find what works for us. This is the end result. I believe in digital, hence why I was singing at the start of this episode. I can't believe Kim got me to sing. (laughs) I love hearing you sing that. I think that was so cute. (laughs) But I do believe in digital. 
The only thing I want to say though, Kim, is to your, because you made mention of having a folder on your desktop. It is a little bit dangerous and I just have to say this because my husband has taught me well and he'll be proud of me for even mentioning this, that in these digital spaces, if you are putting folders on your computer, I encourage everyone to have some kind of backup system and be really careful when it comes to putting things on your desktop because the majority of backup systems don't back up your desktop. Your desktop can actually be excluded from backup programs and backup systems to, that you may use, that you may find to do backups. Using them manually, if you've got an external hard drive that you can plug in, you've got a lot more control, but it's a little bit more tedious to do that. Whereas if you find a program that can schedule backupping, backupping, is that a word? Backupping. <laughs> it is now, Gary. It is the yeps. Sorry, IT world, if I just killed that. But if you can find a little program that can schedule a backup for you from one drive to another, whether you've got two drives in your computer or whether you've got an external hard drive that you know and you set an alarm for nine o'clock on a Sunday night, I'm going to plug that in. Whatever that looks like, just make sure you've got a backup because hard drives die. This is the sad reality. So digital's fantastic until it doesn't work. So just make sure you've got a backup plan in place for your digital spaces. So Kerry, my takeaway from this is I can eliminate all these piles of papers in, in shoe boxes full of things I have to move around. I can actually create that on, you know, a digital platform or a digital way. And the danger is, I think it's probably safer on digital than it is in my shoebox where my dog could eat it or it could blow away in the wind or like there's lots of things. So I'm going to do that, Carrie. Well, and Kim, the other thing it may eliminate for some people, if you're storing a bit digital here and a bit digital there and some paper over there, when it comes tax time, all these different places we've got to look in. Like if you have to remember, I had a box of paper, remember it had the receipts in it. Like where did you put it? Maybe it's buried in the back of a cupboard or it could be in a spare room or hidden under a bed or unless you know and you, you've found and you know if that's you and you've found the best place to put that shoe box and you know where it is, fantastic. But otherwise I just feel digital is the way to go Kim. And I do want to give a quick shout out to another digital person that we know and love so much who helps us in our podcasting. The amazing Jill Olish, who sets up our click up in a digital space so that we can record and edit and publish and do show notes, notes and all the things in regards to podcasting in a digital capacity. Oh my God, talk about... Uh, Jill should have been here for this episode, Kim. Jill should have been here. She would have sang with me. She would have not only sang and danced with you, but she would have been a whole lot better to speak to this topic, Carrie, because she <laughs> is digital to the max. <laughs> she is. Well, Kim, I think it's time to hop out of the virtual cafe. Thank you, Carrie, for everything that you helped me get better at. You're welcome. Thank you. And we will chat to you next week. Thanks for joining us in the virtual cafe. You can follow the show to be notified of future episodes. And if you're enjoying this podcast, we encourage you to leave a rating or personal review. Until next time, happy biz beans to you. No beans were harmed during the production of this podcast. Information contained in this podcast should be taken as general advice only and your personal circumstances have not been taken into account. It is recommended that you seek financial advice from a professional who is licensed to do so. If you choose to act upon the general advice shared, you do so.